Hello everybody, I am Dr. Jitendra Pandey and today we are going to discuss about Unified Payment Interface. Unified Payment Interface or UPI is an initiative by National Payments Corporation of India set up with the support of Reserve Bank of India with the vision of mitigating towards a less cash and more digital society. UPI is a system that enables peer-to-peer -peer online payments for users holding different bank accounts to send and receive money or to pay directly to merchants from their smartphone without the need to enter bank account information or net banking user ID and password. UPI has built on the immediate payment service IMPS platform. Now, let us see how it works. For using unified payment interface, users need to create a virtual ID or virtual payment address of their choice to link it to any bank account. This process don't require either the payee or payer to share bank details. The VPA acts as their financial address and users need not remember beneficiary account number, IFSC codes, or net banking user ID and password for sending or receiving money. Steps for registration. Number one, user downloads the unified payment interface application from the App Store or bank's website. Number two, user creates his or her profile by entering details like name, virtual ID, password, etc. Number three, user goes to add link manage bank accounts option and links the bank and account number with the virtual id now we'll discuss the process of generating m pin user selects the bank account from which he or she want to initiate the transaction user clicks on the given options as required performing a unified payment interface transaction push sending money using virtual address User logs into UPI application. After successful login, user selects the option of send money or payment. User enters beneficiaries or payee virtual ID amount and selects account to be debited. User gets confirmation screen to review the payment details and clicks on confirm. User now enters M pin. User gets successful or failure message. Pull requesting money. User logs into his bank's UPI application. After successful login, user selects the option of collect money or request for payment. User enters remitters or payers virtual ID, amount and account to be credited. User gets confirmation screen to review the payment details and clicks on confirm. The payer will get the notification on his mobile for request money. Payer now clicks on the notification and opens his bank UPI app where he reviews payment request. Payer then decides to click on accept or decline. In case of accept payment, payer will enter M pin to authorize the transaction. Transaction complete, payer gets successful or declined transaction notification. A or requester get notification and SMS from bank for credit of his bank account. Advantages With UPI, user's bank account can be used as a wallet with a simplified two-factor authentication which eliminates the need to store funds in any other wallet. Use of virtual ID makes it more secure since there is no need to share credentials. UPI transaction can be made via IMPS in real time which makes it available 24 by 7. Users can link multiple bank accounts to a single smartphone. Hence, sending or receiving money across banks is easier. For merchants, it is suitable for electronic commerce and a mobile commerce transactions as well as it resolves the cash on delivery collection problem. Banks can create their own application interfaces 
as UPI provides flexibility and an open architecture. Security measures. Beware of mobile phishing. Always download legitimate UPI applications from bank's official website and be cautious before you download it from App Store. Keep strong passwords for your phone as well as for your UPI application. Do not share MPIN with anybody, not even with bank, and be suspicious of unknown callers claiming to be from your bank. Use biometric authentication if possible. Update your mobile operating system and applications as often as possible to be secure from vulnerabilities. It is advisable for users to enable encryption, remote wipe abilities, and antivirus software on the phone. Keep your SIM card locked with a PIN to avoid misuse. In case of loss or theft of the mobile device, you can contact your subscriber to block the subscription of the SIM card. Avoid connecting phones to unsecure wireless networks that do not need passwords to access. I hope these tips were useful for you. Thank you very much.